Team Vincent The presentation shall never be forgotten. Advocating the plight of those cursed to forget, we have with us Team S19, Dementia. Memory is a way of holding on to the things you love, the things you are, and the things that you never wish to lose. From the moment a child is born, to the time they make memories, to the time they make their first friendship, until they exchange their vows. From the moment they have their first child, until they age gracefully, everyone has memories to cherish. We would like everyone to pause for a moment and think of your most valuable memory. Now imagine, what if that memory was taken away? The human brain is one of the most miraculous creations of nature with a huge capacity of 2.5 million gigabytes. An organ of mere neurons is responsible for complete human virtue. Unfortunately, these neurons, once dead, cannot be revived, leading to one of the most feared impairment of old age, dementia, a mere oblivion. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of all, accounting to 60 to 70 percent of total dementia cases, followed by vascular dementia, 20 to 30 percent, Lewy body dementia, and frontotemporal dementia. Now let's delve into each of them. Alzheimer's, it all initiates with two proteins, beta amyloid and tau. It appears that abnormal tau accumulates into tangles and beta amyloid clumps into plaques which slowly builds up between neurons and spreads throughout the brain, hence damaging it. Vascular dementia is caused by inadequate supply to the brain which may be due to blockage in the or stroke. is its prevalence. There are over 55 million dementia patients worldwide in 2022. Globally, one in every three senior citizens die of dementia and its associated disorders. Moreover, 10 million new cases of dementia are being diagnosed annually, implying that there is a new case in every three seconds. According to a report by the ARDSI backlog, in 2020, an estimated 5.3 will continue to rise as the older population grows. In India, only 1 out of 10 dementia patients are actually diagnosed and receive proper care. This harrowing fact boosted our morale to conduct a cross-sectional study among a general population of 700 through a semi-structured questionnaire via online and offline modes. To achieve this, dementia knowledge as a strength to version 2 in our research, the urban population was about 62 percent. There were adults about 18 years of age with basic education, despite its high prevalence. Only 37 percent of the study population were having of dementia and associated disorders. Surprisingly, 69 percent of the survey participants have never met anyone with dementia. This could be due to factors such as lack of awareness, stigma, and social isolation. When asked how do they generally work with dementia, 58 percent. Unfortunately, people with dementia live in a stigmatized and an 
and aware society. 63% of our survey respondents believe that these patients get socially isolated over the time. When asked for their opening and opinions, the most frequent responses were humiliation, lack of acceptance, low self-esteem and safety. The major reasons for social isolation are stigma and a lack of understanding of the condition. Dementia-related stigma can lead to poor mental health and decreased quality of life. Then, what is the solution? It's choosing interaction over isolation. Studies have proven the fact that social interaction activates cognitive centers in the brain to slow down neuronal degeneration. Dementia caregivers are subjected to a lot of financial, physical and psychological strain. In order to understand this situation, a study was conducted using the Zarek Burden Interview Scale. One on one interview was done with 51 primary caregivers of dementia patients with their consent. Financial issues, scheduled disruptions, emotional stress, and health issues were emphasized. Nine caregivers were mild to moderately burdened, 32 caregivers were moderately to severely burdened, and the rest of them being extremely burdened. On analysis, in case of moderate to severely burdened caregivers, not just one, but the entire family was taking care of the patient in the moderate stage. On a daily basis, they were interacting in some way as well. Among the severely burdened caregivers, only one or two people were involved in caregiving and the patients were in the later stages of dementia. Hereby, as the disease progresses, the burden on caregivers increases too. The missing piece that completes the puzzle is the dementia management system. We attempted to consolidate all of the knowledge about dementia management and care at one place, presenting a thorough step-by-step -step system modeled after other nations. Aging is inevitable and so is the risk of developing dementia. Here are the few measures to ensure proper maintenance and care. Firstly, using dementia assessment tests that will determine whether a person is at risk of developing dementia.